Another hour of justice still ahead, but first, did former FBI Director James Comey obstruct justice by protecting Hillary Clinton from prosecution? Here to weigh in is Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Good evening, Greg. Uh, there you, was a story in The Hill this week that uh, says a newly discovered document shows that FBI Director Jim Comey authored a draft statement accusing Clinton of mishandling classified documents and being grossly negligent. And this was confirmed by Senator Chuck Grassley, of course, who is a very well-respected chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, and it says that uh, the words gross negligence uh, were edited and crossed out with extreme carelessness. Talk to us. What does this mean? Well, John Solomon of The Hill uncovered the document, uh, and it is a crime to mishandle classified documents through gross negligence. Comey wrote out a letter of exoneration of Hillary Clinton in which he crossed out the words gross negligence and substituted extreme carelessness. Now those terms are synonymous under the law. Comey appears to not have understood that. This seems to be evidence that he was trying to absolve Hillary Clinton and conjured up an excuse to protect her. So if he did that, he needs to be put under oath and explain why he did that. Why did he change the language? Did he do it for political reasons? Was he pressured by Loretta Lynch or others to absolve and clear Hillary Clinton? And if the answer is yes, that would be obstruction of justice. And you know what's interesting, Greg? When you put that alongside the fact that this exoneration draft memo was written six, seven weeks before 17 witnesses, including the target of right. South Hillary, was even interviewed, that is further corroborating circumstantial evidence that the intent of James Comey was to protect Hillary Clinton. Now, let me tell you something. I have heard some people, even on this channel, say, oh, you know, they do it all the time. If I were no. going to exist, it has never been done. I've done this for 32 years. I've been a prosecutor and I've been a judge. I have never, ever, right. nor has anyone I know, written an exoneration before most of the witnesses are interviewed. This is corruption. I'm sorry. I could prove this to it, a jury. It does appear to be corruption. I've been a lawyer 37 years. I've never seen it, never heard of it. And not only did Comey appear to misinterpret the law and gross negligence? There's another statute Hillary Clinton uh, seems to have violated, and that is willfully and knowingly uh, mishandling classified documents. In his infamous news conference, James Comey said she didn't intend to break the law. That's not the legal standard. The legal Sad. test is, did she commit intentional acts? that violated the law? The answer is yes. She Clearly. intentionally set up a private email server. She intentionally used it exclusively for all of her documents, including 110 classified documents. That is per se violation of the Espionage Act. You know, it, Greg, what is so disappointing about all this, and, and, and you know, we understand this, and the, the, the public understands this, the public gets it, is that people are so disappointed that Washington is what we always suspected it was. And this is something that the president has agreed to end, and yet we're not seeing any resolution of this except for exceptional people like John Solomon of the Hill and, and, and others. What do we do? Well, Jeff Sessions uh, needs to resign, as I've said on many occasions, but before he does, he needs to appoint a second special counsel to investigate Hillary Clinton, reopen uh, the case involving her email scandal uh, under the Espionage Act, and add to that an investigation of corruption, pay to play in the Uranium One deal, ah. as well as as well as the payment to foreign nationals for the dossier on Donald Trump that violates three different criminal statutes. And finally, let's add in the rigging of the nomination because I count a couple of statutes, criminal All statutes, right. that she violated right. there, including Greg, money laundering. we got to go. Got a hard break. Greg Jarrett, okay. thanks so much for being with us. Sure. And we're keeping an eye on the presidential palace in Hanoi, Vietnam.